for months. It was bad. Almost, yeah, almost up to a year, the sex was bad, right? right. <laughs> I thought about this whole thing. It's like, you know, I, do I want to let go of this great woman mm -hmm. because the sex is not good, or do I want to invest the time and energy to see if I can change the dynamics of our sexual relationship? Right. And I did, and it worked. And, like, we crossed this line where it was like, wow, now I want it. I got time for that. What, you supposed to teach him? I'm cool. I'm out. I can see not up to your stand, but bad? Life is too short for bad sex and bad relationships. If the sex is not good, then there's a lack of a, a lack of a connection for sure. Somebody's not doing it for that other person. And then when there's a lack of sex, there's gonna be a lack of commitment. Most men, a head scarf could be a turn off. For me, it's a turn on. You know why? Because during oral sex, she don't gotta do the whole move her hair out the, out the way thing, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't, I don't care really. Uh, uh but I mean, yeah, that doesn't really bother me. You can go to bed with your hair scarf on. I just don't want to see it. Like, make sure that there's no light source <laughs> jeopardizing me seeing you at that time, man. I don't know if I want the bonnet on. <laughs> and if it is on, every time it's been on while I was getting in, I pulled it off. So, regardless, it's gonna end up <laughs> coming off anyway. His scarf's doing sex if she paid to get her hair did. If you paid to get her hair did, hell no. Go ahead and get your hair messed up. He just gotta pay for it again. I wanted to be sexy. I wanted to be, you know, intriguing. And, and I can't be like that when it's like you got earmuffs on and <laughs> you got the damn, <laughs> the New York Knicks hat on like, nah. I think it's about the budget in the bedroom. What is the be what is, what is the budget of your bedroom? You know, you want to tear something up, you want to rip her clothes off, you got to buy her some more. What's what's your bedroom budget? Heads from head scarves to keeping the heels on to whatever it is, messing up the sheets. What is your bedroom budget? It's all inclusive. Nothing's not sexy to me because if it's dark in the room or medium light, I, scarf don't mean nothing. It's just a short-haired woman for the moment. Women be like, why y'all so fascinated with big butts? But it's the aesthetics of it. You when can you hit it from the back, oh, and you just see that thing. You can slap it, you can grab it. You can it, it, you can dance on it, and she can dance, it, dance, 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 shake it a little bit. You know, you fold it up, you get that hump in your back, and you just give it up. Yup. There is no one thing. That's like saying, what's the one thing every woman wants to be? It's just different. Some women want another man, some want another girl, some want to be held, some want intimacy, some want to be treated like a prostitute. Like, you, it's, it's, that's, yeah, that's too broad. Don't treat a girly well until you show her the scoop. What most men want in bed is basically a woman to pretend, but she's not acting like she's pretending, but she's pretending. Might sound weird. Like, if we're in bed and I'm like, oh, is this the best ever? You want her to say, yeah. If we're in bed and I say, Oh, can we have another girl in the bed? And you go, yeah, yeah. Don't afterward, if you want to say hell no, say hell no. But don't say hell no in a moment. Because that ain't what turned the man on. Obviously, if a man is asking demanding questions like that, something else is lacking somewhere where he feels he needs to feel confident in the bedroom area. It's definitely better when there's a connection. Like when y'all can just look each other in the eye and she's like, okay, you want my legs like this? If a woman's taking control, and she is, he's having a great day. Because if a man is having a great day, most of the time women are controlling the bed. If a man is having a hard day, they want to be in control in the bed. Get it? It might sound weird, but it's, it's true. If I'm having a great day, I don't care what you do. I'm having a fantastic day. You can own this moment. You know what I mean? But if I'm having a rough day, I need to own my bedroom. This is right now my place. This is right now my, my property. Everything in this bed should be doing what I need in order for me to, you know, maintain my manhood. <laughs> Thank you.